Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nee. I'm happy to present our paper today, Practical Privacy Preserving Gaming Clustering. This is a joint work with Payment Mohasho from Facebook, my Crossleg from Oregon State. This work is partially done when I was at Oregon State and Visa Research. So why do we consider this problem? The first question is, what clustering is? Well, clustering is an unsupervised machine learning problem. It's allowed to group a similar or closer items together. In this scenario, we have several points and we want to group them into three clusters. And here we have a red a group, a blue and a green one. And now why don't we consider clustering in the context of privacy preserving manner? The reason is that machine learning problem as well as clustering is data hungry, but the data might come from different sources and very sensitive. For example, Visa, US Bank, and the Bank of America, they all have transactions. And they want to cluster on the union of the database to analyze some information. For example, they want to find out fraud detections. However, they can share that database to each other. In other words, uh, we want to run clustering while keeping their data private. In this work, we consider two server models. Uh, this is a very popular setting in pri private work on secure machine learning. And here, the data training are secret shared by two servers. Therefore, if two servers do not collude, they don't learn anything about the original data set. And now the servers run two party computations on the shared values and output the model. Compared to previous work, our schemes is more efficient and scale to the big data set. So there are two popular clustering and the regions. The first one is K-mean clustering, and its complexity is data set size times to the number of clusters times to the number of iterations. And hierarchical cluster is the second one, the second popular one, which the complexity is n square log n, and here n is the data set, and it is much larger than the number of clusters and number of iterations. Therefore, clustering is uh, faster than hierarchical clustering and is widely used in many applications. So this talk, uh, we, uh, this talk and this work, we focus on k-mean clustering. So as I mentioned before, k-mean clustering is the popular machine learning problem. However, there are very few works focused on it. So some of previous work, they doesn't provide the full privacy guarantees. So for example, they review intermediate cluster centers. Another works are heavy on public key operations and require homomorphic encryption for each item. Therefore, it is inefficient when the data set is big. In this work, we provide the full privacy guarantees. Our scheme is based on symmetric key operations. So we propose efficient uh, secure Euclidean distance. We also customize minimum circuit on the shared values and propose the uh, efficient gaming clustering protocol. As a result, uh, we show that our scheme is five order of magnitude faster than private work. So I will go through our uh, privacy preserving gaming clustering. And as I mentioned before, uh, the input is uh, secret, uh, is secret share between two servers. And through my presentations, uh, I use notation square bracket for the shared values. 
And the input also includes the number of cluster M here. So for the protocol, the first step is to choose a random cluster centers. Here we choose, we have three cluster centers, a red one, blue one, and a green one. So now the protocol is uh, for each data point DI and for each cluster CK, we need to compute the distance between DI and CK. So it means that here, for example, we have, uh, we choose this point and we need to compute distance between this point to C1, to C2, two, and to C3. After having uh, the distance, we find in, we will find the closest cluster to this point. So as you can see, we have a long green distance, a blue distance, and a short uh, red distance. And the last one is closest to this point. Therefore, we assign this point to the red cluster. So it means that we will call the this point at a red. And now we similarly we can call all the red points, the one uh, closest to the red uh, clusters. And we also call all the blue point, the ones closer to a C2 and the green points. So after all the points assigned to its clusters, we compute the average of these points within the clusters. So for example, we need to compute the average of all the red points, and it's in here, a yellow uh, cluster. And we need to update uh, the current cluster to the new one. So you can see the red move to the yellow one. We repeat, uh, we repeat the whole process until clustering converts. So it means that until the red point, the red cluster moves to the correct order, the green, the blue, and the green one. And note that all the data points and cluster center are secret share between two servers. So this is during our uh, scheme. And now we have uh, some questions uh, we should address in privacy preserving clusterings. The first question is how to compute the distance. I mean, for example, uh, a clean, a clean distance efficiently. So it means we want to compute this one, right? A second question is how to uh, find the shortest distance. So how to find the K star and how to assign the value to the corresponding cluster. And the last question is how to obviously update the cluster centers. So for the rest of my talk, I will tackle these uh, questions. So for the first questions, uh, I'll present our secure Euclid and distance. So as you may now given two points, their Euclid and distance can be computed by this formula. And here D and C have L dimensional vector. And for example, if uh, L equal to two, so we have the distance between C and D equal to D1 minus C1 square plus D2 minus C2 square. So we know that uh, in our work, each party holds the share of the DI and CI. So it means that uh, DA and CA known by Alice, and DB and CB known by Bob. And therefore we can rewrite the distance by put all the A value 
to one side and odd b value on another side. And now we express the square uh, equation to this formula. So clearly, you can see that uh, at least nouns are, are the red values, and C can locally compute the first terms. And Bob knows the blue values, so C can compute the second terms. So the main thing here is Alice and Bob need to jointly compute the sum of inner products, where Alice knows all the red value and Bob knows all the blue values. So pre-bot work, they use generic inner products. And in this work, we observe that uh, first, we need to compute the inner products between one point to many clusters. So remember that we have, for example, we have three clusters. You need to compute the distance between this point to another three cluster centers. And the point here, is, the data point here, is fixed during the during all the iterations. And number of in cluster is much smaller than number of data points. So we rewrite the inner the sum of inner products by this formula, where we put all the DA on one side, all the DB here, and C A times C B. And then we use inner products based on oblivious transfer. I won't go to the detail how uh, the inner product space of oblivious transfer work. But the main key here is when you rewrite the inner products by this formula, you can reuse the OT for DA when compute the first terms. You can reuse OT for DB when compute the second terms. And the last terms, is uh, very efficient, is very cheap because the number of cluster is small. So our experience show that uh, our secure a clean distance is 32 to 150 times faster than private work. So we are done with the first questions and go to the second questions. Now the input are the shared earth linear distance between uh, the poi and many clusters. And our goal here is first we want to find out the closest distance, so k star here. And we will assign the poi to cluster centers. So most of previous work, they review k star which lists significant information about data training. And in this work, we hide k star by present k star at the binary vector. And the vector here is size of m, and m is number of cluster. And the vector has all zeros except for the position k star. So it means that the number one here indicates the index for the minimum. And again, all the parties hold the Boolean shares, uh, the part, both parties hold the Boolean share of the values. And, and we use the Gabo circuit to compute uh, this vector. So we note that Euclid and distance have either uh, are are shares, and to use the Gabo circuit, we need to uh, use a Zhao shares, and convert from arithmetic share to uh, Gabo circuit uh, to Zhao share is not cheap. Uh, so in uh, our work, we propose uh, uh, a customized uh, Gabo circuit for this problem. So please see the paper for more detail. Yeah, so we are done with the second questions. And now we'll go to the last questions is how to obliviously update the cluster centers. 
So first, we need to securely compute an average of all the points which are belong to clusters. So for example, here we have uh, all the red points belong to the red clusters, and we want to compute this point, a yellow one. So from previous steps, uh, we ha we has the bit better indicate which data point di is in which cluster ck. So in this slide, uh, we have d1 and d3 belong to ck. So when we look at the vector vertical vector mk, the average can be computed by this formula. So as you can see. D1 and D3 are included in the sum because the number are number one, right? But D2 and Dn isn't because this zero and zero. And all Dm and Di secret share among two parties. So we can rewrite the formula by that one. And now the direct solution is to convert the Poolin shares to arithmetic shares and use the circuit multiplications. Uh, however, we have a better solution based on oblivious chambers. So please see the paper for more detail. Yeah, so we are done with all the questions. And now I'm going to the performance of our uh, scheme. Uh, first, we are interested in performance comparison of Euclidean distance with Manhattan and chess balls distance. So the Manhattan distance between two points uh, are the sum of this one and this one. And the chess ball distance is the maximum of this and this. So therefore, uh, the, 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 the two metrics are considered as the alternative distance metrics in some machine learning applications. And from the formulas, uh, which are considered privacy, you can see that computing a Euclidean distance is expensive than others because it involves more complicated calculations. However, our experience show that uh, our secure Euclidean distance is 10 to 40 times faster than Manhattan's and chessboard distance. The reason here is the cost is amortized. And in our Euclidean distance, we can reuse the OT to compute that one, while in the in Manhattan and chessboard distance, you need to compute the maximum and minimum inside the uh, circuit computations, and which are, are not efficient. Uh, we also show the performance of our K-mean protocol. And from the table, you can see that our scheme requires 20 minutes to compute 10, 100,000 points into two clusters. And in terms of communications, uh, usually uh, the symmetric key based protocol requires more data transfer. We also show that our scheme is efficient when increase the dimension of data set. And for the accuracy, uh, our privacy preserving claiming clustering achieves almost the same accuracy compared to the blank text versions. Uh, thank you for listening. And you can find our paper at ePrint and the code on GitHub.